DK Metcalf. You may have first gotten to know the Seattle Seahawks receiver from viral pictures or highlight reel plays. After almost ending his football career in college due to a neck injury, he is now drawing comparisons to NFL greats and making his presence known in just his second season. In the NFL Combine, the 6'3", 228-pound receiver ran a 4-3-3, 40-yard dash with a 40-and-a-half-inch vertical. The man is a freak athlete. How does he do it? As shown by many top-tier professional athletes, diet is key in maintaining and prolonging a career in any sport. So, what keeps DK Metcalf going? Let's talk. Hey, I'm Graham Sowell and welcome to Beyond the Arc. Today's topic, football, food, and DK Metcalf. What does a freak of nature athlete like DK Metcalf eat? Well, based on some research, I'll tell you what we found. I love incorporating all the major food groups like dairy, vegetables, fruits. You gotta have all different food groups if you wanna be a professional athlete, and especially if you wanna keep your body in shape. We'll talk more about cheat foods in a moment, but let's now discuss further what the man eats on a normal day. In an interview with GQ, Metcalf said while he was training for the NFL Draft in 2019, he would wake up around 7.30 a.m. and eat a big bowl of oatmeal for breakfast. This would be followed by his workouts. Metcalf said he kept this routine of waking up and eating oatmeal for breakfast even after the combine. This led him getting back into football shape. He wanted to keep the eating habits that he had while training for the combine and draft. Metcalf now has a private chef that has a nutritional sheet that he follows for his diet. This diet is low carb, proteins, and vegetables. Metcalf's chef has had him eat breakfasts that include massive amounts of veggies, some fruit, as fruits are carb dense, and three slices of bacon. With this diet, he limits carbs and sugars, as well as avoiding a lot of fats and oils. On top of Metcalf's personal chef, the Seattle Seahawks have a team nutritionist, Michelle Clark Mason. Here's something to note from an interview Clark Mason had with Washington Grown. With the NFL, the teams aren't allowed to provide supplements. So if it's, you know, football season is mm -hmm. also flu season. Yeah. So I can't give them a vitamin C capsule. So we do it through the foods. Michelle fuels the Hawks with specialty smoothies that are jam packed with fruits, veggies, and protein. On top of these nutrient rich smoothies, which many NFL teams have put into use, Metcalf gets proteins in other ways. This includes steak and chicken. Although not something he can eat as much during the season, Metcalf also enjoys making chicken alfredo. Another source of protein Metcalf uses is milk, although this is something that needs to be limited on a relatively low carb diet. So in total, DK Metcalf's diet is low carb and can include proteins such as chicken, steak, bacon, and milk, as well as a ton of vegetables and choice fruits that can be on their own or in smoothies. There's also the occasional oatmeal for breakfast. Pretty broad, but consistent and healthy. Now to the cheat foods. Uh, cheat day, I'm going to Five Guys if I'm in Seattle. Uh, and I'm getting, you know, a double, double uh, cheeseburger <laughs> and Cajun fries. Metcalf will also treat himself to the occasional buffalo or chicken wing and pizza slice. He's also known as a coffee lover, liking the occasional caramel ice latte. Although he didn't start this appreciation until he began school at Ole Miss. He's even tweeted about Starbucks, which makes him an even more perfect fit in Seattle. Metcalf also partnered with Volcanica Coffee, a Georgia-based coffee company. They have sold both Decaf Metcalf and Fullcalf Metcalf. This appeared to be a product of a mispronunciation by announcer Joe Tessitore. As a rookie, Decaf Metcalf, DK Metcalf. So, while Metcalf is still human, the man does eat a clean diet that helps him stay healthy and be a more durable football player on the field. Thank you for watching Beyond the Arc. Be sure to subscribe and 
Follow us on social media at Beyond the Arc TV. We'll have new episodes weekly. See you then.